Uh, I'm on. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a big one, bro. My name's Ray, and today we will be targeting flounder. Temperatures dropped off of a couple of different jetties. Fish boat. Amazing, guys. morning here at Port Aransas. I had a gulp tied on, Carolina rig on the other. I got a big rod here. Also ready for some bull reds. It's a little chilly so we're gonna try for some flounder and make our way to the end for some bull reds. Let's get to it guys. God, there's something. Flounder can be very tricky. They don't always inhale their bait on the first hit or thump. Sometimes they like to grab their bait, pop it a couple times, and then eat it. I keep making that same mistake of not giving the flounder enough time to eat. So this next bite, we're gonna give them a couple more seconds and set the hook. Got a fish on guys. Exactly what I was targeting right here. Flounder. Whew, that'll work. Appreciate it, man. Whew. Exactly what I was going for, guys. Switched up to some live bait. Caught some finger mullet. Yeah, man. I'm Amazing. I'm watching. How's it going, bud? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, man. Cool. It's my son Bentley. How's it going, bud? Thanks for what you do, man. I appreciate it, bud. Uh, if you want to catch some fish, you'll probably stick around this guy. <laughs> Are they catching reds out there? Nothing yet. This is the first fish I've seen pulled out so really? far. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, man. Good, good job. All right, man. You have a good one, bro. Came out here looking for some flounder. Started off with a tandem rig. Saw there was a lot of bullet in the surf passing by. So we cast netted some. Put the Carolina rig on and it didn't take long to land this nice flounder. Temperatures dropped. And these guys are moving. <laughs> and these guys are moving. Let me get this bad boy measured out. Nice 18 inch flounder to start the day off. Alright guys, instantly on the drop. Cast it out. Hit the bottom. I was running in my slack. It didn't even take that long. Flounder on a finger mullet, Carolina rig. I'll show you the rig here in a bit. Let's go. We start off the day. All right, so this is what I'm using, guys. Treble hook, Carolina rig. Short Carolina rig, one ounce egg weight. And that's an egg weight from a cast net, guys. I recycled it. They're actually one ounce. Got a swivel here, 40 pound floral, and a treble hook. I like to work my live bait simply because the flounder aren't always on the move. They'll sit by structure, ambushing bait as it passes by. So I'll cast my bait about 20 yards past the rocks 
working it real slowly towards the structure, casting in different angles after every retrieve. The flounder bite seemed to die at around 9 a.m. It was time to get some food and try a different location. The tide started to move out. So I decided to work my bait just a little bit deeper at this jetty, just in case the flounder were following it. Finding nothing but snags and weeds, I decided to cast my next bait just a little bit closer to the beach. That one took off with it. All right, guys, nice little 14 inch flounder. Just gonna go right back in. Gone. All right, guys, as I'm over here catching these flounders, these guys are over here catching reds over here in the corner of the jetty and outside. Way out there in the corner. I set the hook on the side and he took off running. It's a big one, guys. It's a big one. A nice 20 incher. See if we can survive. See if we can get him up. Done. Sheesh, we did it. Hell yeah. Slab, bro. Ooh, fatty. Sheesh. That's a thick girl. Damn, dude, it's a good one. That's a slab. It's a slab, bro. Open season. Let's go. 21. 21. Oof. Nice 21 inch pounder, guys. It's a beauty. That's what we're after. That's what we're after, guys. Let's go. Oh gosh, guys, I got another big one here. Let's see if I get him in here. There's 20 inch in here. Sheesh. Sheesh. That's what I was after, guys. Trying to get our limit before the shutdown. It's paying off. What's that in hell did? Wow. Nice. 
Yeah, it's like an 18 incher for sure. Thick thickness. Founder. That J hook right there. That kale hook. Oh, that kale hook. You give me kale hook. Nice. Perfect hook set, bro. Pretty dog. Dude. Yeah, I had one. That was like a keeper too. Oh, look at that mullet passing, bro. Where's the net at right here? I just got one right here. Just drop it on them. Bro, it's a big one. Just drop it on them, bro. Is it a fuck? What is it? It is a, it's a red. That might be a keeper, dude. Uh, that's 18, right? Yeah, yeah, I ain't even gonna bother measuring them. Nice, pretty blue toe. <laughs> he slapped me. Had a bite or what? More to the flounder hole over here. Catch me a flinder. Come on. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a big one, bro. Brev, where you at, Brev? Oh, gosh. Look at that guy's insanity. Insanity. Another slap kiss. No, it better not come off. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, let's see how big this down there is. 19 and 3 quarters. Flounder is 19 and 3 quarters, guys. Another slab. Sheesh! Look at that hook right there. Alright, let's get him back up. Backing him, bro.
Oh, did we just double, bro? <laughs> Fish boom. And the grind is real or what, bro? Sheesh. You can see that fish, bro. I'm the real one. Damn. And that big circle hook. Live mullet. That's like a slot, bro. Huh? Yeah. He looks like a slot. He looks like he's like borderline, like, like somewhere around 27, 28. I have my measuring tape right there. 27 inch red. <laughs> Heck yeah, bro. Oh, you want that redfish too, right, bro? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. As the sun began to set, the redfish bite turned on big times. But so did the blood sucking mosquito bite. We had to book it after these last two redfish we caught. Me and Michael both got our flounder limits, leaving there with a couple of reds as well. How about that flounder action, guys? The season closes in November, so I had to get out there and get me some before it shut down. Went out there chasing them after a cold front, and it paid off. I got my limit of some nice flounder. Now I'm back home. Got my flounder meat here, some pasta, some panko crumbs, Alfredo sauce, and some broccoli. We're gonna be making some flounder Alfredo with broccoli with the salad on the side. All right, guys, let's get to it. All right, guys, I ended up cutting them in half. These fillets were nice and big, so I cut them, cut them down to size. Seasoning them with some salt, garlic pepper, onion powder, and black pepper on both sides. They're still moist. I'm gonna use that moisture to get these panko crumbs to stick to it. All right, guys, I started off, got half of the fillets nice and coated in the panko crumbs. And here's what they look like. Literally patted them down. That moisture held the panko crumbs on. Now it's time to toast them in some butter. Here goes the first piece of flounder. I went ahead and cut up my broccoli. After I boiled it up, I did my Alfredo sauce. And now we have an Alfredo, pasta, cheesy, good broccoli, all kinds of goodness. Delicious flounder Alfredo. The flounder was toasted in some panko crumbs with some butter and a delicious salad here on the side. Sheesh. This plate is about to go down the hatch. Amazing, guys. Look at that flounder. Now oh, that's delicious, guys. This is South Texas Fishing Fam. Make sure you hit that like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. We are out. What is it? Oh, it's a big one, bro. Fish boat. Oh.